Okay, so we render map before and now as an example we can see how we can use different high maps not necessarily color maps to assign different materials as an example we're going to use Vue extreme so i'm going to create a new standard terrain okay we'll go to edit this object as well we have our resolution set by 4000 pixels about 4096 so i'm going to um, make it flood remove any information and we'll go to import our image okay and right here is flow high field there you go okay, let's click ok and I'll just leave it as 50% default okay so we have our image it's very good high resolution so let's click ok we'll take camera move up and I just go move it slightly on the side so we can preview from slightly from point to buff kind of okay so right here we have it kind of like crater almost done let's go take our sun and maybe move a little bit on the side I want shadows kind of nicely going right here so we have a little bit more depth preview Okay, now um, we'll go one, and right here we have a default material. So what we can do with this, we can apply additional material as a height map, as example. So let's go create new material, and I'll just deselect any. Be sure it's cover all the way, hundred percent, and I'm going to switch this to natural grain. We'll go select a different type of the mixture. Okay, um, right now you can see it's overlay our map on top. So I want to add some transparency in areas. For this, we can go inside the transparency and we have it two ways. First, we can go inside the view. I'm sure it's another application very similar. We can go to go drive with function or apply to this to make it more visible. So I will enable variable transparency and I'll just go through that function edit. So right here we'll go to create color, actual texture map, projected texture map. So we'll go use this one and we'll go to open. Let's go open the high field for now. So I'm just using, even we're using high field for heights. I want to actually use it also to display. And you'll notice in many cases, we actually need to invert those maps. So right here, white, so we don't have it, and a black with transparency. So let me go connect this to our transparency so we can preview. Okay, right here you can see it. We can go invert, or we can leave it as default. So let's leave it as default right now. One thing I want to be sure binary type is applied. So if we have any artifacts on the pixelization, we remove it. Click OK. And important things right here, you notice it says world standard. So we need to switch this to the object parametric. This way it's applied a little bit better, more correct to what we have it. So let's leave it right there. We can decrease slightly. So it will be just a little bit color adding, but not as much. Okay, next let's go add those flow lines. And to make them more visible, I'm going same, all procedures we're going to do. So for those lines, I'm going to use it grain, but I will use it quite a bit brighter type of the grain for this. Yeah. Okay, we can go also by roughness a little bit more maybe so you can preview and go right here will be about right same things will go in transparency variable transparency we can edit function we'll go to add project dexter and connect to the actual right there grayscale transparency let's go binary and loading map for this 
as well. Now we'll go in using flow. Let's click OK. And on a flow, I want to go click OK and switch right here to object parametric. So you'll notice the flow maybe will go opposite. So we'll need it inverse on some of this. So let's go click and render. So we'll take the camera slightly up and down so we can render. and preview how it's going. I'm going to set render to screen, minimum resolution. Okay, I'll go click render. As rendering, you can see it does flow. We need invert. So this color applied on opposite and it's and some applications that is a case. So in this case, in the view, when we use it, we need to go inside and invert our texture. Let's click OK. And for now, I'm going to copy this function because I want to reuse it next time. So if we're going to render right now, you can see we apply flow this material in proper places. Okay, let's click OK. And here's, a, you can see we inverted our map. So let's do a couple other things. So we'll go open new. We'll call this base flow so let's create another wear material okay I'm just again selecting environment so this will be our wear we'll go natural grain you don't necessarily need to do this it just I think will work very well so and I'm going with quite a bit dark grain on this one okay, roughness we'll go transparency and remember, I copy so I can paste function. Let's make it a little bit faster to edit so it's already everything preset. And we'll go to just preload it. We have right here wear map. Let's click OK. Inverse it. Click OK again. And switch to the object parametric. You can see it's just in these places. And let's go on deposits. We we'll should go a little bit below. So we'll go create another map for this. New layer. Okay. So we'll call deposit. Okay, as a colors, let's switch something different. So I'm going to use um, maybe more sandy, kind of sand look to this one, pop up roughness, pop up contrast, okay, we'll go to environment, be sure it's all away, okay, and alpha, let's just right now set to object parametric from beginning, transparency, oops, actually what I want to do is paste first, okay, and edit now, it's kind of will make it a little bit easier, faster to do that stuff. So load it, and right here we have a deposit. So we'll click OK, inverse it. Okay, one more time, and OK. So right now, let's go render. And you can see we kind of applied right there. You can see where is the deposit and where. Just additional tonal kind of effect nicely coming to this. Okay, besides using these materials, this is we only using masks. In other application, you can also apply materials and assign them directly to the uh, distribution functions that inside the application you're currently using. But for this, I'm just leaving as like right now. So we'll just use only those maps. Let me take my camera. And we'll go bring this slightly down. So we can render a little bit closer. I think right here will be more good. We'll go atmosphere settings. Let's just modify a little bit our adjustments. So we'll bring a little bit more colors to our view. Okay, we'll go okay 
and we'll go render a list final and I will render high resolution so we can preview a little bit better details. Let's click OK. I'm going to render right now and pause, come back when render is completed. Okay, so right here we have our image done. It took about six minutes to render. And you can see we have a nice preview on a mountain with a flow. So you can have a very nice basic beginning for your terrain with including nice materials placement. And um, overall, the look how to use um, height map and also distribution map to work on specific materials with inside your other third program beside the world machine. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio and please remember this test on the web is www.geekatplay.com